Welcome back, and you're definitely watching Abled Differently. Mohamed Abdullahi, popularly known as Medize, is an activist and a disability rights champion, especially in the pastoralist community. Take a look at his story. Mimi nilizaliwa nikuwa mtoto mzima, 1988, kufikia mwaka wa 1993, iliugua ugonjo wa polio. Jioni moja wazazi wanasema nilikuwa nina tapika na kuendesha na nilikuwa mtoto wa mwaka nne nilikuwa natembea suddenly wakanipeleka hospitali e, kuendesha ikazidi nikalazwa hospitali alafu kwa kipindi ya mwezi moja baadaye ugonjwa ulipozidi nilipokuwa isiolo ndo madaktari wakanifanya referral katika hospitali ya Wamba huko Samburu county hiyo wakati E, sipitali ile ilikuwa na umaarufu isiolo ilikuwa sipitali ya Wamba Hospital. Baadaye nilipopelekwa huko nikafanywa upasuaji na madaktari walipofanya uchunguzi wakakuja wakabaini kwamba utu wangu wa mgongo haukuwa sawa. Na walipokuwa na endelea na matibabu mwisho wakasema nilikuwa nimeadhirika na ugonjwa wa polio ndio iliweza kusababisha e, e, kupoteza nguvu katika mwili yangu nikawa lema mali moja. Medizi, as he is popularly known, underwent surgery at the age of six. He says society, and especially in the pastoralist community, discriminates against people with disabilities. He, however, continues to champion for the rights of persons with disabilities. His main concern is employment and the social life of persons with disabilities. In 1994, I was in the hospital and I was in the hospital with crutches and caliper. I was in the hospital and na pia natumia mkongojo kutembea. Baadaye kufikia darasa la kwanza, pili, tatu mpaka darasa la tano nilikuwa natembea mzima na hiyo chuma. Kufika darasa la sita ilindemea kabisa. Na safari yangu kutembea na ulsha ilianza nikuwa na darasa la sita. Hapo ndo nilijikubali kwamba mimi sitaweza kutembea tena. Japo ilikuwa inauma nilikuwa ninadhani kila asubuhi nikiamka kesho nitatembea lakini ilisalia kwamba mimi maisha yangu nijikubali vile niko. Jamii inachukua inatuchukua sisi ni watu ambayo hata tukifanyiwa kitu ni watu ambayo hawatatoa lishe ama hawatatoa matunda. Jamii inachukua watu wanaoishi na ulemavu ni watu wasiokuwa na any dream, any vision. Mimi ni mwanarakati wa kutetea haki ya jamii aswa watu wanaoishi na ulemavu na pia wananchi wengine katika jimbo la Isiolo na hapo awali mwaka wa 2017 nilijituma nikawania kiti ya ubunge katika eneo bunge la Isiolo kaskazini na nilipokosa hiyo kiti nilirudi tena nikajiunga na jamii manake kazi ambayo nafanya kwa sasa ni kuweza kuwasaidia watoto wanaoishi na ulemavu mtu mlemavu hata ukienda kuomba kazi watu wanaona wewe hautaweza kazi ni kazi utakuja kupeana tayari. Manake ule mavu wako yenyewe itakuwa ni kazi. Ikija ni maswala ya ndoa, maswala ya kuchumbia inakuwa ni ngumu sana. E, na wasichana wengi hawezi kukubali mtu anaishi na, na ule mavu kuweza kumchumbia. Manake wanaona wewe ni mtu mlemavu haujiwezi ni njia gani utatumia kuweza kupeleka ndoa mbele ama kimaisha unaweza nilisha vipi kunivisha vipi kunilipia kodi vipi sasa inakuwa ni changamoto sana Medize encourages parents to support their children with disabilities wazazi ambao kuna watoto wale mavu wanapitia changamoto sana wewe ukiwa na mtoto mlemavu ukuwe tayari kwamba hata jirani yako itakupinga hata kama unaenda kuomba jirani yako chumvi hama majani chochote jirani itakupinga maana anaona wewe ni kama laana katika hiyo mtaa na wale watoto ambao wako na ulemavu na pia jamii wanapitia maisha mzito sana hasa kama wewe hauna hauna eh, dream watu jamii na kuchukua hivyo ni wewe ni mtu wa ambayo hau, yani ni mtu ambayo hautambuliki U, inakuwa ni ngumu sana kama mtu mlemavu kuweza kuji 
kujipeleka mbele kimaisha. Maana yake kama jamii yenyewe na kuchukua ni mtu hautambuliki, ni mtu ambaye hau exist kwa hii dunia. Maisha sitakuwa ni ngumu tu. Robert Mokaya, a student at Kenyatta University, felt dizzy, fainted, and when he was rushed to the hospital, he had gone totally blind. Here is his story. I grew up in Kawangware. That's why I went the whole of my my primary school. I did my class 8 from Shilenitwa Bible Baptist, around 46 uko. From what you can see, my eyes are very bright. So, ni ngumu kuko kwanza kuambia mtu kuna vision impairment. Je, amezoea maybe mtu akona shida side. Ah, naelewa tu from the word go ni ibol maybe ayuko amiko ko distorted but for me I, but for my balls are very bright the the methanol the thing that it did ni it spoiled to nini nerves ya hapa katikati ya images zinye zinakuwa sent from the whatever the eye speaking so they are, they cannot be interpreted zikipeleka kwa brain Robert Mukaya, the third born in a family of five children, was born on November 10, 1996 in Pumwani, Nairobi. He attended Sacred Heart Ekionga Secondary School in Kisi, where his fellow Form 2 students convinced him to take methanol during the Science Congress event. It is a Science Congress in Kwasi and there are people who are preparing. So the previous, there is a previous evening where Kuna Kijana Niambia there is this substance in it on any methanol and it could serve like alcohol. You get? Mm. So the this, uh, the very day I was in class, what will call me to school fees, but because a certain, a certain teacher had spoken to the teacher, come on be uh, my state, um, I was at that point parentless, of course. I, my fees was going to be a challenge, so I was to be sent home. So I was back. So after I was class, immediately I was going to go with the other Rafi Kuminyal and discuss about the issue of methanol. I was going to go to the lab. Uh, in the lab, um, we were pretending to be drawing charts. We were pretending to be drawing charts with some other group of people who were also supposed to go and participate in the Science Congress. So tuliko unapiga unachukua chupa unapiga sip unarudisha hapo then you go back to your nini to your drawing he started becoming dizzy fainted then was rushed to Kikuyu hospital and was confirmed to have gone totally blind uh, now the fourth day uh nikiamka subin kaenda kaenda hapo nje kuota jua nika feel nimeanza ku nini kaanza kuona fog like fog like then suddenly pop kaona blackout kakoa totally blind nikamuliza also hata ni ali ali notice nenda kwa kwa bush ilikuwa hapo around ya miba so akaniambia simama unda ni nenda tajigonga hapo so that's how it don't to me that ni me ni me lose for sight the dogs in side ya could gain a little uh, perception to light so I, I can only tell the source of the light and can make out people with nini, the images zao na ona mtu kama image. So hata nikitembea ni ngumu nitafautishe mtu na kivuli. Zote zinanikalia object. He was later admitted to Thika High School for the Blind where he completed his secondary school and proceeded to Kenyatta University where he is pursuing his bachelor's degree in education. Because second year, School mm. of Education, mm. I'm taking special needs, mm. English and literature. He says that Kenyatta University provides transport for people with disabilities from one point to another, as well as providing braille machines. You, uh, regionally, mm. is very what, um, is very resourced. Mm. Uh, and takes good care of its students. Also, we who have, we who have special needs mm. uh, in school, to go na kuna gari, to ita maruti, and ina saidi ako nini ku move around from one lecture hall to another, from their hostel. 
yeah to any destination that you would wish mm. we of course we are offered with braille of course we are offered with the materials that we need to write on mm. and the good thing is that the lecturers have also been sensitized mm. they know our presence he says that moving around when going to other places is a big challenge considering the fact that he doesn't have a guide to take him to places he needs to go to i want to go to town town as much as nime master huko kwingine kidogo na time yanga peke yangu town ni trick unajua the watu ni wengi magari pata mtu anamwambia kusaidia kupeleka mtu akuangalia machano na yes i too bright and then maybe when conman mtu mm. akumcon Robert runs two tax shops with his friend in Kenyatta University and has also opened his own company in partnership with his friends started a company like two months ago now whereby in tunaifanya general supplies um the general supplies um, you know so basically we come into a maybe come an organization you know we identify kenya mnaitaji then we go and get it for you yeah and with that we could have made business uh, uh with, um, with the fact that to me promise you na to come akina national council that if you secure a tender they can help us in in facilitating it na kulipia hiyo amount inaitajika then tuna yeah then we did no got to make a profit he advises people with disabilities to keep working hard in whatever they do in life to identify some some activity that you can do during the day engage now to stop being secluded talk to people let's take a look at the un convention on the rights of persons with disabilities article 25 of the un convention on the rights of persons with disabilities states that state parties shall part b provide those health services needed by persons with disabilities specifically because of their disabilities including early identification and intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize and prevent further disabilities including among children and older persons that's all the time we had for you today see you again next week when time and space allows thank you for tuning in and keep it kbc channel 1 I'm your host Jen Theory. Goodbye. We are here and we are strong. Let's be counted as we move on. Make a difference, change lives as we tell our different stories. We are capable. Beautiful, we are born to do great things. We're unstoppable, incredible, 'cause we're differently able, differently.